Dutch. He's a tough. He's what? Then you know this man. Sure. That's why we're on this plane. We came to warn you. The torches were going to take you prisoner. Hey, uh, Prof, can I have that scarf? I want to tie this guy's hands up in case he wakes up. Certainly. Thanks, Dr. Long. Why should they want to make me a prisoner? They're trying to get hold of your invention. You know, that aerial torpedo. Hey, you got something I can tie his feet up with? Yes, I think so. Oh, here, use this strap here. Oh, just a thing. Better hold them all right. Hey, Harry, we ain't gonna crash, are we? No, we're okay. We're over the landing field now. Then we're going to land? No, that's what that crook was gonna do. His gang is probably down there waiting for you now. There's a car waiting down there. I'll bet it's the torches. Let's have a look. What's the matter with that Corey? Is he crazy? Something's gone wrong with our plans. That's the torches, all right. Get up higher and circle around. Maybe they'll beat it and lead us to their hideout. Why do you want to go to their hideout? Because they're holding my father a prisoner. And they're watered by the FBI. Well, let's get out of here. We're not going anywhere while that plane's are. Close it, we'll trail us. The car's still there. Sure it is. Those men aren't dumb. All right, let them stay there. This field ought to be pretty close to their hideout. Billy, could you recognize their headquarters again if you saw it? I might have. I could see inside the wall that's around it. this man to a doctor. Don't worry, the prison doctor will take care of it. Yeah, if there's anything left of him after we finish him. There it is. Circle to the left. Are you sure it's behind our building? Sure, I'm sure. See, there's the wall around it. Yeah. And the gate where the cars come in. And there's the garage with the skylight that Chip and me climbed out of. And that bare spot there, that's where the vault blew up. Well, we've got located so we can find it from the ground. Huh? It's about 15 miles west of Oakdale. Well, that highway down there must be State Highway Number 7. The hideout is reached by another road that branches to the left and branches to the left again. No wonder it's so hard to find. You mean that house down there is the headquarters of the band that you boys claim are undermining our freedom? That's it. And you boys found it? Remarkable. We'll inform the federal authorities at once. And you bet we will. Faraday's plane wasn't flying low enough to recognize who was in it, but Corey couldn't have been flying it. The card reports an airplane flying dangerously low over here. We've been spotted. Come on in at once. I'll give the order for evacuation. Right. Prepare the prisoners for immediate removal to number 11. We'll complete evacuation as soon as it's dark. I'm telling you, the G-man can't have this guy laugh the way it's doing. What are you going to do with him? Make him answer some important questions. I still think the FBI should be notified. Look, mister, we're junior G-man. We know what to do. What are your plans, Billy? You got your card for the airport, haven't you? Yeah. All right, we'll load him into the car, take him out to my place, and make him tell us a few things. Sure, but don't untie him. I won't. Hey, remember our agreement. Give me a half an hour with that gorilla before you call your Uncle Jim and his G-men. Okay, I will. Thanks. Mr. Bradford isn't in. I'll take the message. If, if you will, please. It's very urgent. Uh, tell him... Uh... Oh, never mind. I'll call him later. Well, maybe we ought to get him out of it, huh? Your mother says burning things under their nose will do it sometimes. Ah, that's a lot of fun. You ought to give him some of that stuff that the G-man woke me up with. What is it? Uh, well, some kind of pneumonia. Pneumonia? Hey, we got some of that stuff. I bought it from home yesterday. Wait a second. Hey, here it is. Oh, that's the wrong stuff. 
What are you talking about? It says pneumonia, don't it? What do you think? I can't read? Go ahead, give it to me. He doesn't even love it. Hey, you gonna tell us where you got Billy Barton's old man? Huh? Well, we got a sergeant for evidence. What kind of evidence? Anything he's got. Hey, look, though. Do. Don't touch him. And it's all yours if you untie me and get me out of here. Is that all you got? It's enough, ain't it? No, it ain't enough. But we got to keep it for evidence. That's for your sake. What's the matter, you greedy? I ain't Irish. I'm tired of speaking. You gonna tell me if you gorillas are holding my father prisoner at your hideout? I'm telling you nothing. You will when I get to it, yeah. Oh, so you're gonna gang up on me, huh? Uh-uh. This time it's just you and me. You guys keep out. I'm Uncle Jim. All right, you better locate him, locate him fast, before the torches get away from their hideout. Well, why should they want to get away? Because we outsmarted them in getting to the professor. You're right, Billy. All right, you get to the FBI. Tell them where the hideout is. They get going fast. Well, what are you going to do? Well, I'm going to take the gang, and we're going to go out there and stop them from getting away. Well, Billy, you can't do it. Well, we can try. Come on, fellas. We're going to use your car. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Where is he? The police have him. We located the Torch Gang's headquarters. Good work. Where is it? I'll show you. Billy and the gang are already on the way there. Well, that's bad. They'll probably scare the gang out before we get there. Do contact all available men. Kate, check up on transportation. All right, Harry. Let's have the details. Well, it all started... With... Get the chief. Bert. He's a Colonel Barton. He's ready to go. I'm going to send him on ahead of the others by the river road. Right. Yes? The Barton boy is one of them? Good. Don't let him get away from us this time. Billy Barton and some of his gang are inside the wall, headed for the house. Take him. Check with the guards. Come on, Colonel. We're going ahead of the other prisoners. We won't be prisoners long. Don't fool yourself. Come on.
Watch out. Come on, sailor. Gang him. I can make you. Step up. Right. The guards have cornered the boys out in the hall. Well, give him a hand. You two boys. Wait. Put young Barton in the car and take him over to number 11. Right. Go on. Hurry. That is my Maybe that's the gang's truck Billy told us about. You stay in the car, Harry. FBI, come on, get out of here. We'll use this van to get into hideout. Give me those glasses. You drive. Frank, take this man to headquarters. The rest of you pile in the back. Cover the house. Billy and Jip are in that car. I know. They won't get far. 